Hey guys, welcome to another guide and today we'll be looking over how to coordinate with random teammates and of course like a pro. The first one is of course it's about your first pick and that can really determine your coordination with your teammate and it depends on a game mode. So let's look at beacon rush first and beacon rush is very simple you have to get the beacon first. I mean that's why it's called beacon rush you rush for the beacon so it's really important to understand that in beacon rush it's so much easier to defend the beacon rather than overtake a beacon so the main coordination with your random teammates are likely just going to be the expectation of beacon rush and that is just getting the beacon fast and as obvious as that sound um, I do face a lot of random players that um, start out with range in beacon rush um, I guess that could sometimes work in smaller map but uh, in, in bigger maps like Yamantau, Canyon and Springfield the nature of the game and combination with the, with the type of map really decides whether um, you win the match or not and many smart players will equip lockdown module or lockdown weapon in order to immobilize fast robots. So in domination, the game pace is a little bit more slower, but that doesn't make it as easy because you need to know what your teammates are running and you also need to know what enemies are running. And of course, as many of you guys know, the nature of this game mode, domination, you can only spawn in at one point meaning that you have to walk all the way over to wherever the beacon is. So the first pick coordination with your teammates is going to determine which team is going to first hold certain beacons. So the trick is not to crowd over to one place and really pair up with your teammates and move together as a unit. So best thing in domination is being successful in your first engagement and of course in this clip I move over to the right with uh, some other teammates here in an engagement over this right beacon So in Team Deathmatch, it's all about sticking together. So your first pick has to be very careful. You don't want to be left out. And many players will come to this mode prepared with a lot of range and a lot of healing robots. And this game mode is all about getting kills. Since there are no beacons, by sticking together, there are two benefits. First, if enemy decides to come over to brawl, you can focus that firepower and by the time they come over, you're very prepared. Second benefit is that you can take advantage of healing robots. So as you can see in this clip, because we are so close together, I can take advantage of my healing robot. So pay attention to ability cooldown of your teammates. So this is very good awareness to have in Battlefield in general. And of course, it's a type of coordination that you can do really do with your random teammate. Since this player have used up uh, its ability, now I'm engaging onto this player knowing that one of my teammates has to wait for its ability. So this clip is another great example because um, we just had a successful engagement and knowing that uh, two of my teammates are in ability cooldown lets me uh, stay in cover and really stay within the area until their uh, ability cooldown comes back.
on to the next um, cover flanks and a lot of smart players will try to uh, sneak attack onto your teammates and players lose a lot of robots uh, from these kind of sneak attacks you can really coordinate with your teammates by focusing on to uh, these type of enemy players whether your teammates are getting a beacon or going for a kill during whatever your teammates are doing you want to keep an eye on distinct movements in this clip uh, it looked as though uh, this player was kind of moving away and trying to find better engagement this enemy player was actually moving up towards our flank which put us in dangerous positions but since I had my eyes on to this player I was able to block his uh, lockdown with physical shield and able was able to move into his shield and take him out you can also coordinate with your teammates by focusing on your teammates biggest threat those bot tend to be Ares or Aljun uh, usually the ones that have a lot of firepower and of course with the Hellburner I was able to not completely take him out but uh, strip him down to his last stand And in this clip, uh, it seemed it seemed like a lot of uh, my teammates had under level robots, um, so they were really harassed by this Hydra and other various homing missiles. So focusing on certain specific targets uh, for your teammates really opens up other ways to coordinate with your teammates. Since you can't really communicate with your teammates, uh, sometimes it's necessary to get your teammates attention with a friendly fire. So I guess the only body language that you can do is really uh, friendly fire towards your teammates. Obviously it doesn't hurt them, but uh, the effect of your weapons really uh, let them know that you're al an ally is firing towards them. So. That way you can get their attention and uh, hopefully um, can kind of understand what you want to do um, in certain situations. However, it, it doesn't always work. So in this clip, I kept firing towards splits because um, just to let this player know that I'm a healing bot and I am here. And I also fired towards this mender uh, to change our position towards left. And of course, we did end up uh, successfully making a great push to get this one kill. So I guess, uh, as so I guess, as many of you guys already have tried, um, this method doesn't always work because I spotted the sniper and uh, I wanted myself to focus on the center beacon because I was in a brawler bot. Um, however. This, yeah, it doesn't always work, guys. You can also coordinate by helping your teammates avoid two versus one situations. As you can see in this clip, um, this uh, Mercury pilot was uh, going really towards uh, aggressively towards their home beacon, and um, uh, this player was going to be outnumbered two versus one. But uh, I ended up helping that player, and um, this works on team deathmatch and beacon rush uh, when you're about to respawn. Just really think about where you need to be, and where your teammates are outnumbered. Um, I know this is very fundam fundamental, and you kind of have to see around the map in domination to do this. But you can really take advantage of this mini map. Especially in this small map, you, you can kind of really see how fast your weak side can turn into strong side and strong side can turn into your weak side. So keep that in mind when you are helping out your teammates. And last but not least, attack from different angles. 
So enemies can only really engage onto one player and especially if they have splash damage uh, weapons or spa splash damage ability um, you want to avoid being clumped up and uh, having different angles on certain places or certain enemies can be very useful in coordinating um, especially coordinating in order to defend certain areas or certain beacons this is very obvious but uh, this invader won't be able to attack me and it's having a trouble time target selecting uh, because we our teammates are all in different angles so even if this invader jumped toward me to uh, overtake speaking um, I try to go over towards the uh, cover and try to corner shoot until one of my random teammates engage onto this invader so this will really confuse enemies and uh, as soon as they uh, engage onto my teammate I'm able to uh, really put in that damage and thank you guys for watching and uh, I hope my guide really helped and what are some of your ways of coordinating with random teammates feel free to leave that down in the comments below and also if you guys have time uh, check out my own channel as well and while I was making this video I almost thought um, maybe random players uh, solo players could have like a universal language uh, if you have any good ideas about that I guess that would be like a body language like a friendly fire in a certain way leave that down in the comment section below so that can kind of spread out and it'll be interesting if uh, something like that have uh, really formed in future. So until the next guide, see you guys.